Hi, I'm Dave the RPA Guy, and in this Blue Prism tutorial, we're going to be continuing our look at the conversion functions in Blue Prism. We started that in part one and looked about half of them, and then in this video, you'll look off to the side of me, that's about the conversion functions we'll get through today, which will actually finish up the conversion group, and then in the next video, we'll move on to the date functions. <laughs> Let's do a calculation on converting two days. All right, so we click on this two days function and it tells us converts a time span to a whole number, which we haven't worked with time span yet, right? And then we click paste. Well, that's not the paste button. Sorry, the paste button is there. We'll take it from day to nine, which we're about to create. We need to make sure that actually has, that actually put curly braces in. I'm changing these outside characters to be a square brackets. And then we're gonna put the, our output data into data 10. We need data nine. This will be a time span. And remember that's because it told us that it wanted a time span. It would convert that into days. 34 days, 23 hours, 54 minutes, 35 seconds. We wanna convert this into a number of days. We're taking two days, we're taking data nine and putting it into data 10. We need another data item. It will automatically name it data 10 because that's the next number. I've already named my output as data 10, so it will match. We're going to put this into a number data type. I'm going to initialize it to zero that because that's the proper way to handle numbers. Gonna connect these in. I wanna name this to days for now. Okay, and I've actually I've actually run the program flow to this point, so I don't need to reset it. I'm gonna go ahead and just press step one more time. And what it's done is it's converted the data nine value of zero, 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 zero <laughs> to days, which is zero days. I just made a rookie mistake, and that is I do in fact have to reset the process because it has to get this new initial value that I told it to get. So what I'm gonna do is hit reset, you'll see it change to what I told it the initial value should be. I'm gonna right click on two days, say set next stage, and then I'm just gonna step twice and we'll get our intended output. Now we've got the 34 days, 23 hours, 54 minutes and 35 seconds has been rounded down to 34 days. That may not seem like anything special to you until we use this where we are converting things like to hours, to minutes, to numbers. That will be a lot more clear. So let's do that. Let's copy this calculation stage, change this to data 11, change this to data 12, and we'll drag those from the side. And what are we taking from? We, want, we don't actually want two days, this is two hours. So let's drop that into the right place. And because we want hours to be in a number, we're gonna select that. I'm just gonna put zero to initialize it. Change this to a time span. We'll use data nine to convert for all of these. Let's move data 11 over here and we'll use it differently. We're gonna convert data nine, which has our time span in it, into hours. We will put it into data 11. We want this to be a number, put a zero to, for in the initialization. Then let's go ahead and change this to be four minutes and we'll do all these at once. Minutes, we're taking from data nine, we're gonna put into data 12 this time. And then we'll reorder this to seconds take from data nine, put into data 13, which we haven't created yet. Just change this to data 13 here. And the number's fine. Just gonna move these data items to be lined up. Okay, so we're gonna do two days. Take this, convert to days. Take this, convert to hours. Take this, convert to minutes. Take this and convert to seconds. Do we have all those set up right? Data 13, data 12, data 11. We'll connect them all in with this link. We've already got data in here, so we don't need to reset the page. Run to this stage. We've got 34. And what we're gonna have to do is go back and edit. This is why pasting can be such a problem. 
You think you changed something, but you actually had to change it in multiple places and you messed up. That's why it's best to write these things from scratch. But Dave, the RPA guy, was trying to save a little bit of time. Make the video a little shorter. But no, that's not going to work. All right, what I've done is gone and updated each of these calculation stages to say the proper function for each of them for what they're indicated for on these, the names of the stages. I'm going to right click up here. We'll start on two days, set next stage, and I'm going to run to this stage. We've got 34 days, 839 hours. 50,394 minutes, and it looks like we've got 3,023,675 seconds in 34 days, 23 hours, 54 minutes, and 35 seconds. The next calculation here looks like it's going to be two number. We've gone a little bit out of order. In my conversion group, I'm going to click on two number. Converts a value to a number following the standard Blue Prism data casting rules. Let me type some text in here, but it can't be it can't be alphanumeric. It has to be numeric. So I'm just going to type a few random numbers. I'm going to hit paste, and looks like it's going to do the same thing it did before, where it take a hard coded piece of data. We decided we weren't going to do that anymore. We will take from where are we at data 13. We'll create a data 14. Remember to put your square brackets if you're typing manually like this. We haven't created the data item yet, so data 14 should be text. So we've got some random text there. I'm going to hit reset, see the number is there now. Let's say two number here just so I have a reference. And then we are going from data 14 into data 15. We'll do a number. Remember, initialize, connect this in. We'll set next stage here, step twice to go over it. And what we've done is we have converted this text into a number. Now, let me show you if I had the letter A in here, which can't be converted into a number, I need to reset so that it gets the new value. Set next stage, step. Failed to evaluate expression to number data 14. Unable to convert supplied value to a number. Unable to cast value this with an A to a number data item. This is where Blue Prism is talking about following normal Blue Prism data casting rules, and that is that text can pretty much be converted into any data item as long as the format is in such a way that that next data item can accept it. So. The text, if it contains all numbers, can be converted into a number data type. If the text is formatted like a time span, then it can be converted into a time span format, and so on and so forth. The last one is going to be to time. So this is similar to to date or to date time, except that it's just going to be to time. We're going to find the conversion function to time. I'm going to type a time in here. We'll do 302 AM this time. We'll paste this in. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to cut this, put in what I know I'm going to name the data item, which is going to be data 16, square bracket, data 17. Data 17 will be where we put the result into. We do that. We're going to connect this in. We do need to create the data items, right? Data 16, let's get, let's use our text. We will put our time in. Data 17, we are converting to a time data type. Let's set next stage here, and we're going to step over it. And look at that, we've converted what we know is a text data item to a time data item. And here's our value. And I believe that's it for the conversion group. We still have a few groups to go, but now I can say confidently that we, you and I, we both know how to use the conversion group of functions. Okay, so that was the last one of the conversion group, and now I think we're ready to move on to the date functions. So we finished up our look at the Blue Prism functions for the conversion group in this part two of our function series. We'll be moving into part three next, where we'll look at the date functions. Hope you'll join me for that. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.